Okay, so I want to uh, just do a shout out to um, some people on my YouTube channel um, that pointed this out to me. Uh, due to the recent update, um, basically the portraits for legendary lords and stuff are not showing up the way they used to be. So they used to be associated with their culture. They are no longer that. Um, Kriega1 was the one who pointed this out um, due to alt accounts question. So um, that's great. I love when CA randomly changes file structures because it means that I have to go through and change all of my mods. But I figured this would be a good example of like how can we deal with that and how do we update our mods for these new changes. So um, let's say we need to update Lady Volkmar and change her portrait. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to open that pack file. So I always keep my pack files saved um, on my desktop out of my data folder. So we're going to go to my mods. This is going to be uh, Lady Volkmar. Okay, so originally in our um, UI here in portraits, if you notice the portholes and the units are defined, um, her portrait is defined in the empire folders. Um, but due to a recent update, that's no longer the case. So if we go to right click add from pack file, we need to go to the data folder of our of Warhammer 3 and we're going to go to data pack. I'm just doing this for all of my mods and it's tedious. So going back between the folders, I had the data path like saved uh, or copied, I should say. So if we go to UI and we go to portraits, uh, we have our faction leader. We don't need to change. That hasn't changed. But portholes, notice it now has no culture where all the legendary lords are defined. So I'm just going to add somebody to put that file structure in to my mod. And then I'm going to do the same thing for units. No culture, Albrecht, because he's the first one. Okay. So now what we have is we want to move my units uh, file over to that. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to extract it. It's a, I extract it to where I extract all of my portraits that I edited. And realistically speaking, I'm pretty sure they're still on my computer. But just in case they aren't, I'm right-clicking and extracting into my screwing around folder. This is where I extract all my portraits. Okay, so now we're going to right-click, add file in the no culture folder. Go to uh, UI. Uh, we're going to go to portraits, porthole. Um, and this is uh, Empire, so Volkmar. So I'm going to add Volkmar into it. Now I can hit delete on Albrecht because I don't need him anymore. And I'm going to delete the old file, file structure. Don't need that anymore. Same thing here um, for the unit card. I'm going to add from file. I'm going to go to my where I have that saved, which is in units. This is Empire and my Volkmar. Okay, so now I'm going to delete Albrecht and delete my Volkmar from my original one. So she's now in no culture. So that's been moved to no culture. I'm going to save my pack file here. So my pack file is good to go, but I have it saved in my Warhammer 3 mod thing. So I'm going to have my data folder, which is right here. Get rid of Lady Sigveld. Um, and we're going to copy Lady Volkmar over there. So what we need to do now to update our mod is go to mod manager. If I was, I was just in this, so to make sure that the changes um, are updated, I went back and reopened mod manager here. And we're going to go down to Lady Volkmar, and we're going to click on this and update. And our mod is now up to date. Um, so that will now adjust to the new file structure because as is, as mentioned with the latest update, they changed the file structure, and so my mods are no longer showing my correct um, image. They're showing the original image. Anyway, hopefully that helps you. Thanks for watching.